and there's a huge spike and then there's a huge drop well that's that's insulin working and i've done this with people that are really worried about their insulin you know they've been really strict carnivore by the way a slice of bread one slice of bread also did that uh, and I say to him, well, why don't you go and eat a chocolate brownie or something? And you, you know, if you've got your CGM, you'll see it. You'll see exactly what I've just shown you, that insulin still works. And boy, does it work. It's actually really good. Um, so your insulin demand diminishes. And he also talks about GLP-1. This says, oh, if you're not having carbohydrates, you won't, you won't trigger insulin via triggering GLP-1. So what that is, in your small intestine, there are sensors for sugar, for glucose, for carbohydrates. When you eat, these are called incretin hormones, and uh, GLP-1 and GIP are the hormones that react to what you've eaten. So GLP-1, he thinks, only reacts to carbohydrates. And that's what he's saying. Uh, why that's important is because there was a study uh, or a trial to prove that GLP-1 actually existed and there were these sensors in the small intestine. So what they did was they got people directly into their blood. They put glucose into their blood to see the insulin response. And then they got the same level of glucose, but they made the people ingest it. And they looked at the insulin response. And it was about 10 times the amount for the increase in hormones. So we know that when you eat your small intestine on the brush border, there are sensors there. And when they detect sugar, carbs, glucose, however you want to word it, they will send a message to the pancreas to release a lot of insulin. And uh, what was being said in this video is, well, that, that response will go and that will mean the pancreas will die. Well, there's no evidence of that whatsoever. Now, if you don't have carbohydrates, obviously you're not going to elicit this 10 times insulin response compared to you know, picking up from your blood glucose, because the other thing is protein triggers it. So protein will trigger GLP-1, it will stimulate the glucagon-like peptide 1, and it will um, activate it. So even just steak and eggs, it's going to keep that production chugging along, and you're going to see no problems.